Hey everybody, welcome back. I just want to start today's video by saying that this is not an MS related video today. Um, also too, I'm going to just describe some things that some people may not want to hear. So if you're not really interested in watching this topic, then you don't have to feel obligated to watch today's video. Uh, but as I said last week that last year at this time, I actually was pregnant and I had a loss. And so I felt it was very very important to put a video out there on YouTube just talking about this because at the time what I went through I wasn't really familiar with what was going on and I wish that I could have just right away heard somebody else's story and known what they went through to kind of relate a little bit and know kind of what to expect that was happening and that was going to happen so um, again not MS related so last year at this time I was pregnant and um, I had positive urine pregnancy tests, positive blood pregnancy tests, and my doctor ordered an ultrasound at nine weeks to see how everything was going. So when I went in for that nine week ultrasound, what they found was the sac where the baby would develop, but there was no baby there whatsoever. And so obviously that was a concern. They sent me up to see a doctor right away after the ultrasound. And what I was told is that I had something called a blighted ovum. So I had never heard of this in my life. Anybody I talked to, family or friends, had not heard of this either. Um, I really didn't know what it meant. So the doctor had to explain it to me. I also, of course, was like Googling for days what was happening to me. And that's why I say I wish there was somebody kind of talking about what they went through to make it easier. So basically what they said to me is what a blighted ovum is, is that when you are getting pregnant, your egg does get fertilized and it makes its way to the uterus. And so the sac where the baby develops does start to grow and develop, but that egg actually does not implant in the uterus properly, eventually just goes away, but you still have this sac in your system and that's why you will test positive for pregnancy on urine and blood tests. So I did numerous uh, urine tests positive, I did a blood test positive, and for probably the first two weeks I knew I was pregnant, they were testing me for the pregnancy hormone HCG to see that my levels were rising to know that you have a successful pregnancy. And the thing was within those first few weeks, because I had this sac, my HCG levels were rising as they should. So we just assumed that there was a normal pregnancy going on until we did this nine week ultrasound and found there was no baby there. Uh, apparently a blighted ovum is actually very common even though I'd never heard of it when you go on Google it is pretty common and um, they do say that it's usually kind of a one-time thing that'll happen to a, wo a woman um, I have read of it happening to women multiple times but they say in most circumstances it's a one time that it'll happen and your next pregnancy will more than likely be very successful which is what happened in my case so I I do want to explain to anybody out there who is going through this um, you are going to pass the sack so probably uh, I think it was that same day later on I had the ultrasound it just worked out that way I started bleeding so you know something's going on um, the doctor was actually pleased that I had started bleeding because we knew it was going to pass through you are going to pass the sack I remember her saying to me that I probably wouldn't notice it's so small that it's not going to be a big deal uh, they were wrong uh, the night the sack passed it's it's very painful it's not just an easy thing you know what's going on and it was a f it took about a few hours for that to happen but it definitely was painful um, it was a big relief when it came out but I just want to warn you if you are going through this you're going to pass it and more than likely it's not going to be pleasant so just prepare for that um, and then probably about four to five weeks after that passed I continued to bleed um, and I did have cramping for about a week and a half to two weeks after that happened as well so obviously um, you need to let your body uh, 
you know, take its course, let the bleeding happen. Um, I don't know if four to five weeks was a normal time. What I read online, it could be a few weeks to six to seven, eight weeks. It all just depends on your body. So once all of that was finished and then I had a regular period, my doctor tested me again for HCG to make sure it was back down to zero before I could start trying again. So I think that was probably around the end of January. Um, as I said, this, so nine weeks for me, sorry, I didn't say this, would have been at the beginning of December and it took till the end of January for everything to, to stop happening and for my HCG to be at zero. And then I was able to start trying to get pregnant again and it took me until May, um, to get pregnant. Now I have a successful pregnancy. I am 28 weeks and everything seems to be going very good. Um, so that's great. As I said, I just wanted to talk about this blighted ovum issue and what happened to me because I was unfamiliar and I thought that this video needed to be out there in case there is a woman who is suffering from the same thing and just wants to hear somebody's story. So if you are going through this and you want to ask me some questions, please feel free to contact me uh, through my YouTube channel and I will answer anything I can. Um, and if you are going through this, I just wish you all the best and I hope that it goes quickly. And I wish all the best to any women out there who are trying to get pregnant because you think that it's going to be so easy and then you go through something like this and it just makes it harder and and it makes you worry more when your next pregnancy happens. So thank you for listening to my story of what happened to me. Um, and I hope that this video was able to help somebody out there as well.